D to D N Y, real world age VAC, real world age VAC simplified. And now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my acetylene torch setup. This is my rig, this is what I'm working with, and this video is geared towards beginners, entry level mechanics, and so on and so forth. Not really do it yourselfers because do it yourselfers, uh, this is not for you, okay? Uh, okay, so um, yeah, but before getting to the video, I want you to go ahead and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. So, what's going on here, guys, is that I'm um, I've removed some condensers you can see this is the piping and so I cut them out you know and seal the pipe seal the ends you know removed everything and so I just cut this one off from right here so it's right here like this and you know I'm going to put everything back put some fresh insulation um, so what's going on here is that I'm um, you know I gotta use my torch so I figure you know I mean I'm gonna do a quick video on my torch setup I did a video on this before but um i think it was not quite correct because i was saying it was oxyacetylene which is oxygen and oxygen oxygen and acetylene but this is not that this is just acetylene all right it's uh it's it's uh, it's just a one uh one tank okay but well, anyways let's get into the video because that's what this is you know just want to show you guys around what i'm doing so there's zero the there's the condensers real quick all right and then for all my uh for all my uh subscribers that um that's that's we and follow me for the complex or complicated videos troubleshooting and stuff a video of me doing a startup i'm doing a startup on a addison hvac split system it's real complex we got a video coming on that um so you guys are stay tuned for that you know what i'm saying it's going to be real complex so if you saw if you're a, a technical junkie and that's the reason why you're following me that's coming because i know i've been doing like just um simple videos lately including this one this is not you know like real for pro pro if you're a pro then this stuff you know already but beginners and if you're interested in what i use when i'm welding this is it baby all right so here you have your what we call the b tank all right and there's not much to it it's just a tank with flammable flim, flammable acetylene inside of it it's very flammable okay so you have the the valve right here it's a square uh, it's a 316 as you can see and you need these tools some guys use um an adjustable wrench you know and they use um they use uh channel locks like this here i mean don't don't, don't do that guys um because you're just gonna happen it's gonna round this square head off and then it's a problem right so just use the correct tool right so it's 316 is a service wrench if you're if you're a pro if you're a mechanic if you're a beginner you should have one of these all right so that goes on the valve right there right and then you have to turn it that way. So it's a ratchet action, you turn it, was that counterclockwise? Yeah, it's counterclockwise, right? That's gonna open. Now when you're opening it, you don't wanna open it a lot. So you can see right now, zoom in on the, on the uh, this is the regulator. So this part of it is called a regulator. And I'm gonna zoom in on the regulator. You can see it's on E because the tank is, um, the valve is closed right now, all right? And this part of the setup, it's called your your uh, handle, the handle or torch handle, which has a valve right here. Oh, this thing is closed tight, right? So you can see, if you're a pro, you can do it with one hand. Control your valve with one hand. So again, counterclockwise. This is opening clockwise. I'm closing it. All right. Boom. This is a nice setup. I like it because I got the shield right here, turbo torch. You know, flexible piece right here, so I don't break my hoses. And then this tip also is my favorite. Um, this tip burn gives a nice reasonable amount of heat. I think this is a number. I don't know. What is this number? This? Uh, I don't know what it says here. I don't know what number it is, but um, none actually, I'll pull it out and see. Probably it's in here. But this give a, gives a reasonable amount of heat, guys. Uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what number this is. But um, it can't, it's good for like this size pipe right here. This is um, one inch, I believe this is one inch. It's good for that. If you're going bigger than that, you're gonna need a, a larger tip. But the reason why I like this is because it has this um, auto light. 
so you don't need it. I'm gonna fire up what you guys see it. You don't, you don't, you don't need any other, other um, lighting apparatus with this one. So it's pretty cool. Um, so this is the tip, right? So here's your tip, um, torch, handle, okay? With the handle of the valve and everything, that's a separate piece. And then you have the hose assembly which screws on right here. Now this nut, um, it's reverse. So uh, typically what you'll do, the way you'll turn this to tighten, right so open is tighten and tighten is open so it's reverse i'm not gonna un unspread it for you guys to see but just trust me that one is reverse okay so that's so, so that's the um o's you can see the o's so you have the tip the tip handle o's and the hose attached right here as well same thing and then you have the regulator right the regulator with the gauges the regulator you screw is on right here and you can see i use my channel lock but don't don't do that guys use an use an adjustable wrench you know what i mean makes it perfect i always make sure that this is tight before you open the valve here all right um so the regulator uh what's on there i don't know i'd never read that but uh, what does it say there i don't know it's really not important but here it is uh so if you turn it this way you're increasing the amount of um gas so as you turn it in you're increasing the amount of pressure that's going to come out from the torch and if you turn it turn it counterclockwise so you're reducing the amount of pressure right so yeah All right so that's like basically as you turn it out as you turn it out as you turn it out it's closing okay that's how it is as you turn it in you're opening more pressure to your torch and that's it guys i'm going to open it up and fire it up, let you guys see it. That's it for this video. Oh, by the way, here is some um, brazen rods that I'm gonna be using, okay? We call it silver solder as well, okay? No cleaning, no cleaning required. You just go ahead and get your pipe cherry. You know, I have, I have videos on my channel that I'm brazen already, so you can go check that out, all right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open this bud board right here again. So you see this is a ratchet action, all right? So open is gonna be counter. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. I can't, I can't. Okay, so it's open right now, guys, and as you can see, this thing is almost empty. It's barely, I don't even know if it's gonna be enough to finish this job. <laughs> That's crazy. But I have another small MC one, smaller MC one in my van, so that would help out. But yeah, it's almost empty, you can see that. It's barely, so when I, when I uh, so when you, when you open it, you just need to give it like, just crack it off the back. Just crack it off. So like, like this right here. So it's closed right now. So boom. So it's open like that. That's, that's good enough. You ain't got to go any further than that. And I'm turned all the way in right now. Turned all the way in. So I'm at maximum pressure. And I'm go ahead and fire this up. So I'm going to open this. And then. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because I'm almost out of out of acetylene. All right, so that's it, guys, for this video. Again, for all my uh, um, technical, you know, um, addicts who, who followed me for uh, technical videos, I got one comment of me doing a startup, you know, on the Addison split system. It's very technical. I think it's qualified as technical. Stay tuned for that. All right, boom, I'm out.